Greetings and welcome to the video series on responsive email marketing tutorials. In this video series, we're going to talk about writing emails itself. How to write responsive emails, promotional emails, so you can actually build a relationship with your readers, but at the same time use the promotional aspect to earn income. Now here's a quick glimpse of what we'll be talking about in this video series. Number one, the introduction, or this specific video, will talk about why writing responsive emails determines your list success. In video two, we'll talk about brainstorming, planning ahead of time so that you know what to write your promotional emails on. And third, we'll talk about different types of promotional emails that you can write, and we'll actually give you some examples and samples. In video four, mistakes to avoid when you're writing your promotional email, Video 5, Importance of a Good Email Subject Line. As you know, if you have a good email subject line, you can increase the opening rate of your emails rather than people clicking the delete or spam button. In video 6, we'll talk about how to format your emails. Presentation of your emails is very important. The easier it is to read, the better. Because as you know, most people scan those emails. So if you make it scannable, good presentation, then that's great. Video 7, we'll talk about the importance of a good email body, and we'll talk about how to write a good email body. And of course, lastly, in video 8, we'll talk about how to get your readers to take the necessary action, such as clicking on a specific link or purchasing a product. How do you get them to read it, glance at it, and then take action? Okay, great. So that brings us to the introduction. Why writing responsive emails determines your list success. Whether you use double opt-in, single opt-in, whatever, you need to know how to write your emails. Now, I would recommend using double opt-in. Double opt-in means somebody signs up at your list. So let's say, for example, this is you, and you are the new subscriber. And then you sign up onto a list. With double opt-in, you have to go to your email address and then confirm that you are the actual owner of that email address and then you get your freebie whatever that freebie is whether it's newsletter tips free ebook free software whatever that's what double opt-in is double opt-in the reason why i recommend it is because most of the time when you get double opt-in lists the people that go from here here and then have to confirm it they're willing to take the necessary step to actually confirm it to get their freebie. This way you sort of remove the people that, you know, if you do single opt you go from you, sign up for the list, to the freebie. There's no email confirmation or anything like that. The only thing about that is you can build your list faster, but the quality of your list may not be as you wish. Because what you're aiming here is a responsive list. Now, that's just the beginning. Once you do that, whether you choose double opt-in or single opt-in, which I rec recommend double opt-in, whatever you do after that, you need to email them with frequent content and promotional emails. So you got a balance here. You got content, then you got promotional emails. So you educate them and then you promote. Educate them, promote. You don't want to do just content, content, content. Otherwise, your list will think, oh, this guy only gets content. You know, you need to condition them. What I've learned is if you give somebody free things every single week for six months, and then all of a sudden you promote something, most of the time those people won't even buy from you. And here's why. Because you condition them to see that you only give free stuff. But if you promote things every single day of the week, then you got to remember, even though you promote something, that doesn't always mean you condition them to do so. They might actually get turned off. So you need a balance here, content and promotional emails. Then we got the relationship factor. The relationship factor is built mainly from the frequent content and the res how frequent you email them. So whether it's once a week, you know, twice a week, whatever, you probably don't want to email them more than two to three times a week just because they might be getting other emails and they might click on the unsubscribe button. Building that relationship is very important and 
as you learn in this video series, you'll actually be able to use what you learn, how to write the email, how to write a good subject line. Those types of little things help you build that relationship. And guess what? When you've got a good, strong relationship, you've got responsive lists. So it doesn't matter if you've got 100 people on your list, 500 people on your list. It's the quality and the responsiveness that is the most important. So now that you understand this, let's go ahead and go to video two, where we'll talk about brainstorming and planning before you actually write your emails.